Hi there, Dr. Jason Van Horn here, professor of geography at Calvin University. Today we're going to take a look at making a selection from GPS data that you've collected in the field using ArcGIS field maps. So let's get started. So here I am in the field maps designer at ArcGIS.com online. I've created three different layers, a point layer of trees, a line layer of sidewalks, and another polygon layer called any area. I've done all the details related to the, the form I want and the fields that I've included. Then we head out into the field and collect data with GPS units, me and my whole team. Here I've logged in to ArcGIS.com. I've accessed the web map trees and sidewalks that I created earlier in the ArcGIS field maps designer. See here, I have the tree, the sidewalk, and the any area feature layers. And most importantly, I've set the sharing level for this web map at the organizational level. That way, all of my team can actually see this as well in my organization so that when they have ArcGIS field maps on their GPS unit, they can log in and see this trees and sidewalks web map and we can collect all of the data together. To see that, I'll just click on tree here and let that load in ArcGIS.com before we bring it in to ArcGIS Pro. If I click on the data layer for this layer, then I have all of the data. It looks like we've collected 133 trees on campus so far. I can get a preview of the entire data set this way. I'll go back here to trees and sidewalks web map and now I'm going to save this and open it in ArcGIS Pro by using this drop down over here and clicking the Open in ArcGIS Pro. Now I'll save this file onto my hard drive and it will launch ArcGIS Pro when I click here and launch it. Now I'm interested in extracting some of the data as a subset of this data set. I'm going to right click here on tree and open up the attribute table to access the attributes for this layer. In this case, you can see I have 133 rows or trees in this data set. And if I scroll over here, I can actually find who created this data. Here are all of the teammates that have collected this data with different GPS units at different times and days. In this case, if I go ahead and sort this data set, I'll right click here and choose sort ascending. Then what I might do is I might take this particular person here and I want to extract all of their data from this data set. So let's see here, I'll do all of those. It looks like they have 11 selected features. So if I right click here on tree and go to data and export features, I could export the features here because I own this particular data set. But if you don't own that data set, then you can't do this. It's grayed out. So what do you do? Well, the easiest thing to do and one of the most helpful options within ArcGIS Pro is go to selection and choose make layer from selected features. I will click this and immediately a new layer is created in the contents pane inside the geo database for this project. And if I right click here and open the attribute table, you will see that there are 11 features here from the selection I made in the previous layer. Awesome. So now I can turn off this layer and only have the data that I'm interested in. And that is the 11 trees or this subset of data. So this is an easy way to create data sets from existing data that's served online and then downloaded to your computer.